in continuation to the exception handling we are going to uh, see some built in exception classes because uh, uh, python has got uh, uh, some built in exception classes to take care of the uh, routine uh, problems the, it has got a hierarchy of classes so uh, what built in exception classes does is they take care of uh, the routine exception uh, built in exception classes are used to handle routine exceptions routine means a very common common exception suppose if something is uh, not common not general to all problems if it is specific to the problem it will not be there in uh, built in exceptions we have to build our own exceptions so built in exceptions are used to uh, to handle uh, routine or common or general uh unusual conditions because uh, when you take exception i told you it is unusual conditions so to handle routine unusual conditions prevailing in the pro program prevailing in the program Uh, when you take the uh, built in exception there are hierarchy of classes there are so many classes uh, uh, present in python to handle this exception hierarchy of classes and for uh, the entire hierarchy there is a base class to handle the exceptions uh, the base class is uh, base exception so the base class is base exception so uh, take this the class is base exception and uh, uh, there is uh, this is actually a deriving exception this is another class then uh, there is uh, arithmetic error this is a common thing arithmetic error Arthem uh, arithmetic error then within this uh, there is uh, zero division error so this is one uh, general uh, problem uh, zero division error zero uh, division error is an unusual uh, condition that may be prevailing in the program zero division error so zero division error i'll uh, see this is the hierarchy and this is the uh, below class in the the bottom class in the hierarchy and the bottom class always refers to a specific uh, uh, specific activity so if you take here zero division error uh, it occurs zero division uh, error is the uh, is uh, occurs when uh, divided by zero happens suppose if uh, a by b is you are doing and b is zero b is zero then uh, zero division error, error occurs zero division error occurs so that's how when it occurs there is one more uh, overflow error present but this is actually uh, built uh, uh, in old versions of uh, uh, python now there is no question of overflow uh, present this is actually not at all in use but still it is there because uh, as part of the python documentation it is there and uh, now as i uh, told you in the beginning that uh, as the value of Uh, value increases the data item increases its size so there is no question of overflow error but in languages like uh, c java suppose if i take integer we say 4 bytes uh, if you use any number which is beyond 2147463647 will be a overflow if it is integer 4 bytes so uh, but uh, uh, when uh, in case of python suppose assume that the size of the integer is 4 bytes if it exceeds this it automatically becomes 8 bytes just example i am giving actually in fact this uh, be, uh, the uh, default size for integer is 28 bytes and uh, if the number exceeds uh, beyond the range of 28 bytes then size is automatically increased so this is uh, not uh, uh, even though it is uh, given in the Uh, hierarchy and it is there in the documentation but it is no, never occurs uh, G, uh, overflow error 
so this is uh, next uh, uh, exception then from exception um, so all are derived from exception class so there is uh, uh, one exception like uh, import error this is uh, related with uh, modules uh, uh, importing and uh, using so uh, when you are trying to import a module and uh, if the module is not found module is not found so there is module not found error occurs module not found error occurs so this uh, module not found it is uh, bottom uh, class again module not uh, found error occurs error occurs when uh, when the imported module is not available you are importing and uh, that module is not available when important module is not available so this is uh, not available so this is one more error then uh, there is one more here lookup error means if you are searching something uh, lookup error occurs and it is further divided into two things like uh, index error and key error index error and uh, key error so uh, when you are having any collection uh, indexed collection like like list and tuple so you can use indexing and even string uh, is also indexed so suppose if i take a string and uh, uh, if you have uh, suppose uh, string like hello and uh, if you want to refer character uh, character at the sixth position so it is uh, the index is 0 1 2 3 4 because there are five characters so anything beyond that uh, if you are referring so index error occurs so this uh, leads to index error then uh, when you take key error key error occurs when uh, it is actually related with dictionary and if you are uh, uh, accessing a data item suppose if I have a dictionary suppose if I take d1 uh, I have dictionary 1 1 2 4 3 9 and uh, you can say d1 uh, 4 so you are trying to get the value with the key uh, value with the key 4 key 4 is not there so uh, the key error occurs here in this case key error occurs key error occurs so this is uh, one more uh, level of uh, uh, exceptions uh, one more uh, level of exceptions then uh, uh, there is uh, uh, one more here name error is there So name error occurs whenever you try to refer a variable or function which is not there. So I am taking, suppose if I am taking a equals to a equals to 10, I will say c equals to a plus b. Now I am referring the variable which is not there. So it leads to name error. So name error occurs when I refer a variable or function which is not there. So when uh, a variable or function, variable or function, which is not there, which is not there. So if you refer, uh, then name error occurs. So, uh, when even if I take I am referring B which is not there suppose if I am calling a function test if test is not defined uh, maybe it, it might have been defined after uh, the uh, function is called but before it is called it should be defined if it is not defined then uh, it causes uh, uh, this it causes uh, name error so this is another uh, two uh, two uh, possibilities of name error 
so the next uh, one is uh, what we heard. Uh, then under uh, suppose if if uh, any external accessing of data will be required with the will be done with the help of uh, uh, operating system suppose uh, if I, uh, if uh, if you are going for uh, the file uh, if you are opening a file which is not there in read mode then a file not found error occurs so file not found is a common error so this it occurs whenever we try to uh, access a file which is not there so when when file which is not there is accessed So file not found occurs file not found uh, error occurs occurs when a file uh, which is not there is not there is used is used for reading purpose is used for reading purpose is used for reading purpose so this is very common error then uh, there is file uh, exist error occurs or uh, now uh, yeah uh, file exists error occurs file exists error occurs when you try to open a file uh, which is already there and uh, uh, because it is going to be overwritten uh, it causes file exists error uh, next uh, when you take the important uh, error is uh, next it comes here uh, value error so value error occurs uh, before that better we discuss uh, about uh, type error because uh, it is related with uh, uh, it is having some link with uh, value error so instead of this what i'll give first is type error so type error occurs in uh, different uh, situations whenever uh, if we want to use a type, if we are using a type, uh, wrong type at uh, wrong type in a, an operation, that means uh, uh, an, uh, incorrect or unsupported type is used uh, in an operation. So type error occurs. So I'll write here. Uh, it occurs whenever incorrect type incorrect type is used in an operation there are uh, several examples we can take uh, for example suppose uh, if i am performing uh, if i add suppose if i concatenate suppose if i say hello and if I say uh, n equals to 100, now if I say n, now the concatenation you cannot perform on integer. It is only concatenation is performed only on strings. If I have a string, concatenation is performed on strings. Uh, suddenly if I get integer, it is uh, uh, incorrect type occurring at wrong place. So that, that's where uh, type error occurs. Uh, even type error occurs suppose uh, if you uh, so this is one situation it occurs when incorrect type is used in an operation this is one situation second is suppose if i am uh, taking uh, some uh, normally if i take a list if i take suppose l i have 10 20 i can uh, take a list and uh, then what i can do is and i can uh, use suppose for item in l this is okay but this is because it is uh, uh, a collection i can run through this uh, i can iterate through the collection suppose if i have a data item uh, 
which we cannot iterate suppose if i take uh, uh, a equals to 1 2 3 4 now i cannot say for item in uh, a because uh, this is the wrong type so the type whatever the type of the data item here should be some iterator some collection but i am using a uh, uh, data item which is not iterator so this also causes uh, uh, this also causes uh, the type error there are somewhere uh, some more uh, type errors like uh, there is one more type error um, when you are using suppose uh, if i am using index Suppose if I take hello, uh, if I use an index beyond the range, uh, then uh, index error occurs. Suppose here, if I use an index which is wrong type, suppose uh, uh, A. So I am using a string as an index, which is not allowed. It is an error. This is also causes because I am using uh, wrong type in an operation here i am indexing type is should be integer i am using string here i am running through some uh, i had to run through some collection the type should be iterator but i am using integer here i am uh, performing string concatenation but i am suddenly adding uh, i am suddenly adding uh, their integer one more is uh, suppose if i have uh, if i have some uh, uh, string or some data item which uh, normally we call the function suppose if I take uh, str equals to hello then uh, I cannot sorry str is a function suppose if I say s1 hello and if I try to call s1 then also the uh, type error occurs so if I am using uh, calling a non callable one so only functions can be called not uh, normal data items so there are four possibilities of type error one is uh, uh, when you use uh, uh, in string concatenation if you use integer or when you uh, want to iterate through uh, uh, when you are iterating through uh, then you require some kind of iterator like collection but if you are using some standard data item then type error occurs and when you are using uh, indexing whether it is list or uh, any collection uh, list or tuple or string if i use a wrong data type as an index then index error occurs uh, similarly when i use non callable one for callable uh, non callable uh, data item if i am calling for uh, um, if i am calling a non callable one then type error occurs then finally one more important uh, thing as i told you is uh, uh, the value error so value error now value error occurs uh, this is uh, uh, the last one because these are the very frequently used uh, operations now when you take value error value error occurs when in an operation in an operation you are performing some operation the type is uh, type is correct it is not type error type is correct but uh, value there is wrong value is uh, incorrect then the uh, value error occurs so for example suppose if i take uh, if i am converting say i can convert string into integer suppose uh, when I take 1, 2, 3 is a string, it will be converted. So the type what is required for this function is string. Uh, it will be done. Suppose if I take the same function. So now the type is uh, in, uh, string only. I, I am passing to function integer the type string only. But uh, value there is not an integer. So value is wrong here. So this causes value error. So whenever in an operation, if type is correct, but value is incorrect, then value error occurs. This is one instance uh, uh, where value error occurs. And uh, also the second instance is suppose uh, if you are uh, taking a list. So this is one instance of uh, uh, value error. The second instance is uh, whenever uh, you are taking, uh, whenever you are taking uh, a list or any collection suppose if i take lst i have 10 20 30 so if i want to remove uh, a data item suppose if i say remove 
uh, the, uh, that value, whatever we remove, must be there in the collection. Suppose if I try to remove the value which is not there, this also causes value error. Because 40 is not there, it also causes value error. So this is uh, another example of uh, uh, value error. So value error uh, occurs whenever uh, you, uh, when, when data type is correct, but uh, the wrong value is passed. And uh, when you apply remove function uh, on a data item which is not there, uh, then the value error occurs. Even if you are calling a function, suppose if you are calling a function uh, with a less number of arguments, then also value, value error occurs. So uh, when you call a function, this is another instance, uh, when a function is called, when a function is called with the fewer arg arguments, fewer arguments then also value, value error occurs so these are the uh, uh, th this is the hierarchy of uh, stand uh, built-in uh, functions so uh, built-in exceptions and uh, see whenever uh, when we are dealing with uh, when we are writing a program and if there is a possibility of some kind of error type error value error uh, if that occurs actually the program is going to be terminated if you want to handle you can make use of this exception starting from base exception base exception is the highest uh, level uh, class in the exception handling then exception all exceptions are derived from uh, exception class but uh, they are given the name uh, uh, error so these are the important or frequently used uh, uh, exception classes in uh, in hierarchy of exception